But it varies when you're going to feel movements for the first time. Women tend to feel them between about 16 and about 20 weeks and these can start as feeling like butterflies in your tummy, feeling like you might have wind and then as baby gets bigger you'll feel more of the things that feel like actual movements and kicks. So from when you start feeling movements, they should then increase um, through your pregnancy. It's a real myth that um, towards the end of pregnancy, your movements will slow down because baby's tired or because baby hasn't got enough room. Um, your movements might kind of stay the same from about 32 weeks, but they should never ever reduce. We want you to keep an eye on baby's movements when you're pregnant so that you know roughly what kind of pattern your baby's in so, um, you, so that you can let us know if there's a problem. I know that there's lots of apps that you can use that you can record when your baby moves and that's fine but the best way is just for you to, for you to know yourself. So, oh my baby normally moves in the morning and it hasn't so that's unusual so that would be something for you to phone us about and let us know. Babies are a lot like us. If we haven't had breakfast and we haven't had lunch and it gets to the evening, we might be feeling really tired and like we haven't got the energy to do anything. So if a baby isn't getting all the oxygen and all the nutrients, so all the food that it needs, then it doesn't have the energy to move around. And the reason that it might not get, the, get that energy is because there might be something wrong maybe with the placenta or with the baby's cord or something wrong somewhere else. What could happen um, in the worst case scenario is that reduced movements becomes no movements and then becomes a baby that's very unwell and may actually die. So that's why it's really important for you to ring us and let us know if you think that your, your movements are reducing or that they've changed so that we can monitor you and try and prevent that from happening. Your midwife can use her hands to examine you and check your baby's position and movements, a technique called palpation. It's especially important if your placenta is on the front wall of your womb or if you're overweight, as this may affect how well you can feel your baby's movements. Even if you've come in every day for a week worried about your baby's movements, we still want to see you. Um, we might encourage you to maybe lie on your side for a little while, um, on your left hand side, um, just to see if you can pick up movements or if you've been really busy and might not have noticed them. But we're going to want to see you and we're going to want to make sure that you and your baby are okay. Another way your midwife might check your baby is to listen to the heartbeat. If the heart rate isn't within the normal range, it could be a sign your baby isn't getting enough oxygen or of other complications. We really try and discourage mums from listening to their baby's heartbeat at home or um, using it through a Doppler or an app or anything on their phone for baby's heartbeat. And that's just because hearing your baby's heartbeat doesn't mean that baby's OK. It might mean that um, there could still be a problem. If you're having um, twins or more babies, then it can sometimes be difficult to work out which baby's moving, which baby isn't moving. So our advice would be, if you're ever worried at all, again, just to ring the hospital, just to have a chat with us, um, and we, you know, we'd be more than happy to see you and monitor you.